Good morning. In actuality, it's not morning. It is 1.30 p.m. Yikes. So today we're doing a work from home, get ready with me, because I still think it's very important to maintain some semblance of routine or else you will end up sleeping in until 12.30 every day, like I have. I thought that we would just chit chat and get ready for the day. I am using the Nightingale Daily Derma Cleansing Pads, the same ones that I have talked about, I don't know, like hundreds of times. High quality product, 10 out of 10. I'm clearly not um, in my apartment. I'm at home for spring break. I am going to stay here until probably the beginning of April, just because I miss my family. Corona is a little wildin' and I'm sure that my family appreciates me being as proximal to them as possible during these wildin' times. I'm using some Blistex medicated lip ointment just because my lips have been very, very dry lately. The one thing that I dislike about this product though is that it goes on white, so you have to like rub it in or else it won't look right if you're applying it out in public, but that's okay. Small price to pay for really moisturized lips. Still started my day with coffee. Horrible, horrible plan, but it's fine. I'm going to use the Dialba Peptide No Sebum Repair Cream for moisturizer today because I have officially used the entirety of my La Roche-Posay moisturizer, which is kind of a feat. I don't think I've ever properly finished a product before, but that's the plan this year to start finishing products. I say this year as if like it's the beginning of the new year, which there's a mirror right here, by the way, which it's like totally not. It is almost April. <sighs> I hope you guys are all staying nice and safe at home, practicing some staycation. I did an Instagram live where we were talking about like how self-quarantine or social distancing probably aren't the uh, most appealing ways to call staying at home and not seeing anyone. So on the live stream that we decided that it's gonna be hashtag staycation because staycation just sounds so much more pleasant than quarantine. You know, I digress. We're gonna go in with a different kind of cushion today. This is the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion. Finally cracked into this one because I used up the entirety of the 3C one. And while I do have a refill, I'm like, eh, might as well try something new. Tried this yesterday and it works so, so well. I feel like this is just with any Korean cushion um, foundation, but comes in a very limited range of shades which is mildly frustrating because if I get any tanner than this, it will not match my skin tone. I actually might prefer this one to the 3CE one, which is saying a lot because I really, really love the 3CE one, but I will probably wait to finish this one before I make my verdict on which one I like more because I really enjoyed the 3CE one. Staycationing has just totally obliterated any sense of productivity. I've been waking up every day at like, I don't know, 12.30, sometimes 1 p.m., oftentimes 2. And then I get up, I play video games, and then I sleep, which is a dangerous pattern to play. I am using the Chanel Double Perfection Compact N45 Clarity, the bougiest piece of makeup I own. I actually love this so much that I'm considering purchasing other Chanel products, which is like kind of bougie. But my grandma was like, is, not was. She is a very big Chanel cosmetics fan and she actually was the one who gave this to me. This is like from her stash of Chanel products. And I get it now, I'm woke. And it always reminds me of my grandmother. She's a really classy, classy lady, always really well put together. And I feel like I want to embark on the same level of class my grandmother is. I'm gonna use some glossy boy brow through my brows. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, quarantine is, st sorry, staycation 
has been super dull. If you're looking for a game to totally just destroy any semblance of time, like you just want one of those days to go, go by as quickly as possible, I highly recommend Sid Meier's Civilization. Um, I currently only have Civ 5, but I'm thinking about getting Civ 6 because uh, the amount of love I have for this game is unparalleled, my I dad. Like, I love video games. Portal was probably the first like real video game franchise that I fell in love, love with. I grew up playing um, Maple Story and um, like Nexon games because like I grew up in Korea and those were the things to play. But uh, Sid Meier's Civilization V is a mark above everything else. Oh yeah, I'm using the Moonshot Rev de Paris eyeshadow palette and I'm using this like brownish nudish shade. Brownish nudish shade. Ooh, say that five times really fast. But it's coming up a little pinky on my eyes today, which has been kind of um nice, I guess. But yeah, I've been playing Sid Meier's Civilization V. I really want to get Civ 6, and I know it comes on the Switch, but I don't have a Switch. I also am thinking about getting a Switch Lite because I'm not really one for who cares about like the docking privileges. Although I will say, if I could dock my Switch onto my monitor, that would be pretty lit. But yeah, Civilization is a turn-based strategy game that has been around since like, bro, I don't even know. I remember my older brother was really into Civ 3 or Civ 4 when like we were young and had the family computer in the early 2000s. It's kind of like Risk, the board game, except I hate board games and I love Civ. It's super duper fun. I really don't know how else to describe it except really calming. It's really relaxing. It's a fun game to play alone and it's a fun game to play with friends over Steam. So if you're looking for a new video game to play and you want a real time sucker, like not in the same, like Animal Crossing is a time sucker, right? But Civilization just is like a wormhole. Like you just keep saying one more turn, one more turn. And then before you know it, eight hours have passed and you're only halfway through the game. And it's so good. Highly, highly recommend it if you have a lot of time to kill. Oh yeah, and then I just put the dark brownish shade on my lower lash line because I thought it looked a little weird and unbalanced. I'm gonna go in with Glossier Pro Tip and add some wing. This is a new one. Here, let me zoom in a bit. This is a new Glossier Pro Tip. No weird smudging this time, which is nice. Honestly, I really like this eyeliner. Not bad. I will probably repurchase this. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of I have a lot of mixed feelings about eyeliner and there's so many on the market. I wanna try like the Stila one, I know that's pretty good. Um, yeah, but hold on, I'm gonna stop chatting to put this wing on. Bam, that was uh, challenging. Gonna curl some lashes and put on mascara. This is like the very, very end of this mascara. I'm gonna slap on some blush. This is the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodine. Ugh. Just gonna swirl the three colors together. Slap it on my cheeks. And then for lips, this is the Peri Parrot Ink Velvet in a shade in which I'm not quite sure, but it's like a dusty rose shade, the shade that I always wear. That's my entire face. I'm gonna change out of pajamas into real clothes and then I'll show you my entire work from home look. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Annyeong!